wife sleeping on the floor just fine. That's when the cop came over, hit me with a stick, told me I gotta move, you know, so. I thought I'd walk to the station, catch a train, sleep in the yard, I'd done it before, you know. That's when it started fucking raining. There's a tin roof of a shop nearby. I thought I'd take shelter there till the rain stopped. Stop so late. No more trains, you know. Hey, you guys got any whiskey? Jack Daniels? Is your real name Sydney Dwyer? Yeah, it's my name. I picked it out myself. You know, uh, Raman Ragov? Yeah, yeah, he killed a whole bunch of people. His name was Cindy, too. Cindy Diwali. That's why I chose it. Oh, you don't know Raman Ragov? <laughs> yeah, my uncle who uh, lives in India knows, knows his whole story, told me all about him. You know? I don't sure know about him. <laughs> He had this uh, wireless radio, called it his world. He used to talk to God. Whoever God told him to kill, he'd kill. He's the number one messenger of the God of death. I've seen you before. I see you every day. Sometimes on TV, sometimes on the newspapers. I go outside, I see you coming and going. But I see you clearly. You have it in you too. What? A license. You can kill anybody you want, because of your uniform. It's a cop's job to correct God's mistakes. I'll do the same thing. So in a way, we're the same. Both messengers are the God of death. So the government gives you food and a place to stay. see you clearly. I think I know you better than you know yourself. You called the police station? Hmm? Two years ago. Oh no, I didn't call. No, 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 it wasn't me. To an officer named Raghavan. I don't have a phone. I don't phone for myself or the police. If I'd phone, why the hell would I come all the way down here? I'd just call, you know? After it stopped raining, I kept walking, you know. I'm a creature of the night. I have been since I was a kid. 
My father used to call me a fox. Said my eyes glow at night, you know. You know, at night when the drivers drive drunk, it's dangerous to walk in the road. I have this bad habit of walking on the side or walking on the checker pattern, you know, the black, white, black, white, black, white. I only step on the black squares. If I step on the white, I'm out. And I count. Because I will lose track of time, you know. So I'm stepping on the black squares and then the road suddenly comes to an end. I don't want the game to end. So ever since I was a kid, it's God's given me this superpower. If I think on something real hard, I can see it the way I want to see it. So now the path lays out before me, black, white, black, white, black, white, I'm stepping on the black squares. And then suddenly, out of fucking nowhere, I say, look, buddy, he didn't understand. On top of that, he was drunk. So I said, buddy, Look, he didn't understand. At first, I asked nicely. Then the animal saw me woke up. He was looking at me like he didn't know who I was. On top of that, he was on one of my black squares. It'd be one thing if it was a municipal black square, but it was one of my black squares created by me in my mind. Okay? So I said, look, buddy, I'm the god of death. He didn't understand. I pushed him. He fell down. That too on one of my fucking black squares. I couldn't just stand there. I didn't know what to do. On top of that, he was drunk. He fell asleep right there. I didn't know what to do. My mind snapped. I looked for a stone. Picked it up. Smashed his head. He'd move after I hit him. So I thought I'd come here and file a complaint. See, after the 